What can we squeeze on there? I think we can squeeze on a few more tanks without it being totally topply. Uh, let's see just one more. Uh, then again, bringing it back down might be tricky, but... Okay, let's say two more. So that's a ton more. So let's up this a little bit. Up that a little bit. Let's go all the way with this one. Okay, 3A. Not too sure. But let's go. Oh, but then... I could have turned down the heat shield. The blade, the blader on the heat shield. We've got too much of it, don't we? Yeah. Actually, let's, let's recover vessel. And let me turn down the blader on the heat shield. A blader, let's go with one, 120. That should be enough buffer. Uh, 20 kilometer re-entry seemed to work just fine. So we'll probably go with that again. Okay, Jeb, here we go. Come on. Ah, a little bit of delay in staging there. Okay, aerodynamics, don't, don't get on me now. This isn't that tall. Okay, we are past Mach 1. Deviating, deviating, no, 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 come on. Oh, uh, it's, it's going side to side a bit. Okay, we should actually be at a lower pitch, but I'm afraid of it flipping out. Let's see where we're at on the... Yeah, okay. We're okay on the apoapsis, let's cut it. Okay, should probably start out a little bit now. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get to orbit. Need to be careful not to strand him in orbit. All right, we got orbit. Okay, contract complete. Now let's see how good a job we can do of getting it down. Well, I'm back. We need to do this retro burn pretty accurately just to make sure Jeb gets back down with the best possible trajectory. Looks like we're going to be coming down on daylight side there, which is good. Oh, not bad, not bad. Well, 20 worked last time, so I'm going to go with 20 again this time. I'm going to have this stage hang out so that we can dump some of our velocity as we head down. Probably going to end up in the water. I certainly don't want to end up on the highlands. That's dangerous. So yeah, I'm probably gonna force the issue of bringing it down on the water. Okay, we've already got quite a lot of drag going for us. It's got us coming down. I think we'll be we'll be fine head down into the water, so I'm gonna just leave that off. Yep, we're definitely going down into the ocean. Alright, Jeb, here we go. Okay, well, do I dare apply some physical time warp? Yeah. Oh, okay, no. I don't like... The, whenever the camera shakes, I get bad feelings about the whole thing. G-forces are not bad, though, right now. G-forces are alright. Okay, G-forces creeping up to three. Still pretty gentle. Jeb is placid. Doesn't really want to go retrograde. But anyway, I'm going to go with the parachute now. Oof. G-forces when the parachute goes out. 
Well, hopefully with uh, Orbit Achieved, now we're not going to get those silly VIP trips or part tests. Maybe we'll get some good contracts to pursue. No more science to do on the surface here. Obviously, we've hit water before. This is the downside of not aiming for land, but the land that we were aimed at was all, all very dangerous terrain. Okay, recover. Okay, 23 science, and Jeb is at level 1. Okay. Uh, let's go to Tech Tree quickly first. I really want the engine, though. I want the gimbling. I think that could help me against the atmosphere a lot more. That's just a supposition though. I do want the LV-909 with its 4 degrees of vectoring range now. This one's got 3 degrees. Yep. Let's get general rocketry. Now what about our upgrades? So. If we do this, we can do EVAs, 150,000, that's a lot. What, what's the cheapest upgrade? 150, 150, 450, 300. Okay, I guess we can't do upgrades. Boost, very three, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so so we get to orbit, and now we've got, we've, we've not only got the VIP ones, now we've got three tourists to deal with. Come on. I mean, I want to go to the moon. When... I guess we have to boost our reputation, huh? Oh, well, there's just one visual survey. I guess we could do that. And why don't we take care of the radio mount parachute on that one as well. Flying... It's pretty low. Okay. So, crew report in flight above 17,000 meters near that. That's pretty tough, actually, with our current technology. Basically, head straight north will do the... No, actually, we have to head further west. We should head uh, northwest. Radio mount parachutes. These are the ones that we have to test, right? And otherwise, we've got a long distance to cover, so I think we should just use this one. We'll have Val do this. Again, just getting our pilots all experienced. Though I don't know if this will get her more experience. We'll see. I don't think so. She needs to get to orbit. But it's her turn anyway, so let's go. Okay, SAS on. Get a blader, throttle up. Alright, Valentina, let's go. We're going to be heading northwest. I can't, uh, I don't dare, oh crud. I don't get, dare go to the map view to see whether I'm there yet or not. Or headed in the right. I should have put the LVT-45 on this. Ah. I want the LVT-45. Okay, tell you what. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to make a waste of this. I'm going to try and head for land so that we can uh, do a crew report on grass. This is the wrong way, though. So we can do a crew report there. Yeah, this, this totally reminds me of my colonization series episodes just recently. This sucks. I've, I've lost all sense of aerodynamics. This is not fair. Just in time for KSB to uh, to get aerodynamics, I've lost all sense of aerodynamics. No, I don't want to retrograde. Uh, it's just I've I can't turn properly here. I think we're just just gonna. Well, it looks like we're overland. Heck, I'll take that. Uh, how, what's what's the conditions for this? Okay, we need to be going fast. Okay, got it. Alright, we got that contract fulfilled at least. Alright. Uh, didn't really need the nose parachute, but didn't really have anything else to put on there right now. 
Valentina is fine. She she has uh, she's totally lacking in ego. She she doesn't worry that she hasn't been to orbit or anything like that. She's just perfectly happy being on the top of a rocket and ending up wherever. Okay, this should be a new crew report. Yes, it is. EV report. Hate to do this, but it is flying over grasslands. Let's keep that data. Board. EVA, let go, lands on her feet, EVA report, keep the data, grab, nope, uh, there we go, board. Alright, recover. We still got a contract done, and we got Val back. But we didn't get the one we wanted. Alright, so... LVT-45. Not that that's going to solve all my problems, mind you. I'm, I'm not, I don't have any illusion that this is going to be like, uh, like the panacea for my aerodynamic failure, but it should help a tiny, tiny bit. We'll call this Alpha-3B. Okay, and... And uh, we, we want to have Val go to orbit. We'll have Jeb do this one this time. Yeah, we did that. Okay. All right, throttle up. SAS on. And go, Jeb. Hope this is the right. Oh, come on. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Uh, the right launch azimuth. I didn't calculate. Come on, Jeb. Stop getting. Uh, that's borderline. That's borderline. Uh oh, we've got aerodynamic uh, badness, badness, bad, bad. Uh. No, holy mackerel! I want fins. I want some control surfaces. I want something to stop this. Stop. Maybe I should do airplanes. <laughs> like I, like if my aerodynamic fails, I'm suddenly going to be good at airplanes, right? No. Maybe not. Okay, I better stop it there. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, more. It's, well, it's definitely above 17,000. Don't know how close we need to get. That should do it, shouldn't it? Well, we'll see. I'm not entirely sure how close we need to get on this one. I still got those radio mount parachutes. I didn't even need those. Should have taken those off. We're too far, too far west right now. Let me burn the rest to go east. Okay, well that's it for our fuel. Well, it didn't say that we were entering the zone, so I wasn't accurate enough. Okay, so noted. Okay, well, I think this is the first flight where we totally didn't achieve any of our goals. Oh well. Alright, may I need to reassess how I build these things, I think. Okay, so, yeah, just pump out for a sec, Jeb, and tell me what biome you're over. Highlands! Okay, we're over Highlands. Keep that data. Board. Okay, keep that data. EVA. Let go. So, at least we got some science. Okay, recover. Science plus Kerbal return safely equals mission success. Indeed. Okay, speaking of which, there's Jeb. Let's see if we can get some something out of this. Uh, we're nowhere near those that tier, but ah, we can't unlock this one. Okay, what else? What else? I want to send Val 
to orbit, but they they uh, uh, let's go with the goo goo containers. Maybe the goo containers will give us something. Maybe I should just slap them on. What's our well? Their heat tolerance is a thousand two hundred. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll just put them on where the parachutes, those two parachutes, used to be. Don't quite like the look of them pointing out like that. There, a little bit more integrated uh, a way to go. Try the next launch with SAS off for the duration. It seems to be causing some issues with gimbling engines. Okay, well, we've got a gimbling engine. All right, we'll see what... Uh, I, I didn't really see... I, I've seen what you, you're talking about. I've seen SAS go all jittery and iffy and all that. But I didn't feel that this time. But maybe we'll try some lack of SAS. Um, in any case, we'll get some goo done. So it's fine. Uh, we'll have uh, Valentina try it this time. We'll try to get to orbit. And... Yeah, we'll try to get to orbit. And if we end up doing some goo just in the atmosphere, that's good enough. Okay, Valentina. Let's see how well this can fly. I know we can do goo on the launch pad and all that, uh, but I'll save that for when we're really desperate for just that little ounce of science. I also know about the contracts in the admin building. I haven't uh, initiated any of that yet, but but we should do that. I wonder if they've got the, that balanced out, because previously it was just it was borderline cheaty, some of the contracts that you could get. Okay, SAS off with the gimbling engine. We really just need to follow... Whoa. Prograde down. Now you see... I'm using a joystick. It's not quite like keyboard. I tend to overdo things because there's a little bit of delay. Actually, one thing... Ah, oh, okay, I've got it messed up now. Yeah, I think the SAS is doing fine, honestly. I think we can do one of the goo containers. Though there is jitteriness, but uh, I don't think that's what's causing my problems. Okay, I'm going to keep that data. We're just going to take it to space, I think. I'm going to do a Science Junior next, and we'll do that on launch, aiming for that location again. So we'll have Jeb do that again, but we'll take a Science Junior with us. Right now we don't have enough uh, Delta V to get into orbit and bring Val back down, so I'm not even trying for orbit here. A little bit of a stutter as we entered space, but here, observed the mystery goo. Six science, excellent. And let me just check crew report. Okay, we didn't do it space near Kerbin. Keep that as well. That actually we could transmit without any fail, uh, any loss. So let me just our uh, electric charge charge is fine. Transmit that. Okay. I don't think we need to retroburn at all. We're gonna end up in the water. Let me just dump the stage. This is gonna be a little bit more g-forces for Valentina. I hope she's all right with that. Suborbital is sort of a high G sort of thing. We're not slowing down very very well. Deceleration minimal. G force is pretty high. We'll survive though. Okay, parachute time, I think. Pretty high G forces for Valentina. But she she made it through. And we've got some science. We got two goo containers and a crew report we hadn't done before. Now I did see SAS uh, have serious issues with the gimbling of the engines. I know that's a thing. So we'll, we'll, we will have to deal with that. I'm not surprised. Because in uh, Realism Overhaul it's the same deal. Because some of the engines in Realism Overhaul have like 10 degree gimbal. And SAS has never been happy with that. Okay, so 11.5 Science. Like I said, the next time up we're going to go with Science Junior and 
And yeah, I think. Oh, this there's a pro part. We should uh, aim for this one next. Forty-five science. Uh, let's get a science junior on, and we'll send Jeb up to aim for that site. If you're not too sure about the camera wobble, you can turn the effect down. Yeah, I know. Um, I actually have already turned the effect down. Yeah, I already turned it down to point eight, as you can see. Um, let's go to point six. Now, trying to fit the science junior in, what's the form fact? The science junior is still a 1.25 meter thing. I don't want to lose the science junior though, so let's also have more parachute. I wonder if it'll make any difference if instead of going with all these tanks, I go with the this one. Can't imagine why it would, but it's 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 just really silly the way I'm doing this right now. Maybe I should just go with let me go with a shorter stage here. We're not going orbital anyway. Yeah. Let me let me cut it here cuz it's mainly an aerodynamic problem. We've got this tall tall rocket that's very thin that has very little control. Oh, we got Valentina again. All right, that's that's not a problem. We'll just switch it up. Okay. SAS on, throttle is up, and launch. That perhaps is getting pretty high. Hold on. Alright, so the question is how close can we get? We need to go for the west. It's gonna, by the time we get there, it's gonna have moved a little bit east. I'm gonna try and get this as close as possible. I don't want to have to do this again. I swear the aerial survey missions used to have a wider tolerance. Okay, let's try that, I guess. I've activated navigation, so I'm looking for that message. For now, I guess we can do the Science Junior here. We are in space. Okay, 15. Keep that data. Okay, I'm entering zone whatever it is. Crew report. Okay, keep that data. I mean, technically I don't need to keep... no, it's fine. Okay, so, yep, we did the visual survey. And we've got our science from the Science Junior. Let me dispense with the stage. I don't need it anymore. Valentina is going to be our high G-force expert here. Uh oh, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, let us deploy parachutes. Ah, ouch, that would have been. Uh, well, Valentina is fine with it. Likes the roller coaster ride. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that is good. I don't think there's a new biome, so recover. Alright, 15 science earned, parts recovered, and Valentina didn't gain any experience. Uh, we've got some debris there. Oh, I, I guess... Oh, okay. Well, I, that's the booster. Okay, let's recover that. Alright, so I've got pause it right here. I need to stretch my legs, get some feeling back into them. So I'm going to pause the stream and I'll be back in about 15 minutes, let's say. Alright, folks.